Hey YouTube, welcome back. Today I decided that I would like to share with you one of my most recent addictions and I guess I might just show a sneak peek of what I've been working on. So let's jump in. I started a game once before, which you see here, but then I discovered that you could add in mods. That was a lot of fun. Um, one of them is Automate, which basically allows um, preserve jars and such to kind of work on their own without you having to constantly feed them the fruit in order to make the preserves. Same goes with eggs and stuff like that and the furnace. Um, let's see, better ranching, so that way it kind of gives you an indicator. But you know what, instead of talking about it, let me show you how it all works. Okay, so here is my cozy little home. I have just a couple of chests set up and organized. I have been working on replacing my early wooden fence with stone fencing so that way my crops are safe. Um, let's see, I have been working on some of the sprinklers so that way I don't have to manually come out and water every morning. And considering it's winter, it's a great time to go ahead and get started on that. And one thing that I really haven't worked on enough is fishing. So I have the um, crab pot and the bait and everything set up here. Hopefully it'll be automatable soon. So I have a couple of extra houses on this farm just because I sometimes open this up to share. Um, when I got the option, instead of doing the fruit bats, I chose the mushrooms. So I have a small mushroom farm here. And with Automate, you can see that all of my mushrooms automatically drop into these chests. I have two chests, so that way they can automatically organize themselves. And any time that I need mushrooms, they are readily available. So over here, you'll see that I have a couple of trees planted, a couple more seeds and saplings going. This is so that way I can add a tapper and get resin, um, pine resin, pi I'm sorry, pine tar, oak resin, and I think maple syrup. I don't know, it's been a while. So here's my little kitty cat. And we're gonna go ahead and give him some water. All right, so Jody ordered a little bit too much fertilizer, no big deal. It'll help us out. All right, amethyst to Emily. I think we can do that. So over here is my, you know, furnace set up and everything, and I keep coal usually stocked up. But I haven't been to the mines in a few days, so... Because I don't feel like going back into the house, I can actually just go here. And this is thanks to the Chests Anywhere mod, where I'm actually able to open up a chest anywhere within the game as long as I have a chest that I can drop down. So, since I already have this one in place, I can just go to Farmhouse, go back over here to select which chest I want to look into, and I'm going to go into Minerals and Mining so I can pick up that amethyst that Clint would like for me to give to Emily. I believe Emily is right over here, so I'm going to take the bottom road over into town and I can drop that off. Hopefully she's home on a Saturday, 6th of winter, because I am not pulling up the wiki to find out what her schedule is. Let's go see if they're home, and I don't see anybody. Literally. Hmm. Guys, I'm just looking for Emily. She's got to be here somewhere. You know what? I wonder. Yup. And no, I sure don't. Would you like to teach me? There we go. So that should have been a completed quest. Now with it being six o'clock, I still have lots of energy. Let's see, let's go exploring just a little bit. Let's go down to 40. Oh, wow. Hmm, this is different. 
Ooh, iron ore. Oh, they get painful. Alright. Oh, that's never a good sign. That usually means it's time to move on to the next um, level or deal with flying things. Yep. And as it so happens, I have a slime and a bat. Well, first time I've encountered one of these. Hmm. Wonder what this is. Gave me some coal. I'm gonna leave the mine. It's 1230 and I really don't want to pass out in town again. So we're gonna head back. So yeah, we're gonna go to sleep for the night. Well guys, I kind of showed you what my farm looks like, little things that I'm kind of working on here and there, um, and what I do during the winter, which is mostly mining. So thank you for joining me. If you'd like to see more, please press the like button and subscribe. And if you want to get notified whenever we post something new, just hit that little bell right next to the subscribe button, <laughs> and you'll actually get a notification whenever we post something new. So thanks for watching, and see you next time.